to create the seed of the nation state that we have today. People have been migrating to this island for years. In Norway, he, of course, would have been at the Royal Academy there, been very aware of the Viking presence here and, you know, the, the wonderful boats and vessels. So these vessels uh, that he has been working on in all sorts of guises, one, vessels with wheels, uh, which are the ceremonial vessels that, uh, that uh, you know, that have been dug up all over Europe uh, of the Celtic people. And they represent chariots and they represent uh, modes of transport and also modes of transport into the next life uh, as much as anything else. Um, so the boat is a crucial, uh, a crucial subject in John's work, apart, of course, from the animals and the amazing uh, collection of bulls, uh, birds, creatures that are that populate Irish mythology. And John is an acute awareness and knowledge of Irish history and Irish mythology. He is a, a seminal figure in so many areas uh, in Irish art. Uh, the most obvious one is he was one of the founders of the Project Art Centre back, I think, in 1967. Uh, he was involved in the independent artists. And uh, John is a very accessible artist. His work is very accessible, but he's also a very modest man, a hugely talented, modest man. One of the reasons behind the founding of the independent artists was really to uh, have a, a very pliable or a very uh, important alternative to what was then quite a, uh, a refined uh, taste that the Art Council had on what Irish art should be. Um, at that stage, the living art was very, very strong and had done so much good work. Uh, but it, it, I think that the artists that John represents felt that uh, the living art had become a bit of a parody of itself and was becoming, uh, making kind of domestic versions of the uh, international mainstream that didn't seem to have the authenticity that the original founders had. So the independence was really uh, picking up on uh, Kavanagh that uh, in your own ditch you'll find the universal. And, uh, and John has, uh, by uh, examining and uh, looking and using the phrase interrogating uh, our history uh, and our mythology, uh, he has forged literally an iconography that we all are readily able to identify with. An iconography that actually burned itself into the imagination of so many of us here. When we think of John Behan, we, we, we think of the ladders, we think of the 